These flowers can stay fresh for up to a year. Much like any expensive looking, intrinsically cool, mechanically useless product, they were popularized by celebrities. Gigi Hadid, DJ Khaled, and the Kardashian family of Calabasas, California, just to name a few. And given Valentine's Day is or was, depending on when you watch this, right around the corner, I figure it's a perfect time to get in on the fun and gift something that will last far longer than the relationship itself. There was only one problem. They cost $400. Now this would be all fine and dandy, except for the fact that unlike the Kardashians of Calabasas, California, I don't have a 20 season network television show and can't afford the hefty price tag. Which is why today, I'm going to be making them myself. The first step in our Valentine's Day bonanza was to figure out how these things are made. So I hopped on the Google to get to the bottom of it. Our roses are real Ecuadorian roses. They're grown in Ecuador. And basically, we cut them at their most peak and perfect state, and then we go ahead and treat them. They're treated with a proprietary solution. Aw, oh, dang, they weren't gonna tell me. That's all right. Almost everything proprietary is available on the second page of Google. Or in this case, plastered across all of YouTube. Literally all you need is silica gel, a tub to store them in, and that's it. So I headed to my local craft store to pick up some supplies. I picked up some decorations to make it look more professional, and some foam risers so that it would look like they're popping out of the box. Unfortunately, while I was in the store, some hooligans drew a gentleman's sausage on my car. Next, I went to the small town flower shop. You are currently listening to an a cappella version of the Swedish national anthem. Check out this artsy decoration, it's actually just a piece of spare sheetrock with some spray paint over spray on top of my laundry hamper and a bedside table. Okay, so we've got our silica gel, we've got our flowers. Do you have a pair of scissors? We have a dozen red roses. It's from The Room. You know that movie? Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. We gotta uh, take the things off of these. Pull out your thing, gloves. Silica gel is toxic, so it's very important that you use gloves and wear a mask. I didn't wear a mask and actually ended up in the hospital for unrelated reasons a week later, so safety first. One bag of silica gel fit 20 roses very snugly. If I was doing this again, I wouldn't put so many roses in one box. That was toxic. Try your best to give these things an airtight seal. I used some sling wrap and duct tape. Don't know how well I really did it, but eh, we'll find out in three weeks. Hello and welcome to the living room where I have to sit because there's no other table here. I made a box to store the roses in. I'm gonna do this really quick and in time lapse so that you don't have to be bogged down with all the boringness of it. That is real gold leaf, by the way. And once the box was done, it was time to pull out the flowers. We waited three weeks, and it was time to see Boom. if they'd aged as well as Steve Carell. So let's do it. I feel like I'm doing like an archeological dig. They still, they're, it's very interesting because they're still soft. The last thing I did was a little experiment where I tried spray painting and covering them in hairspray. I ultimately decided the hairspray covered rows looked the best, so I chose those for my box. As with most things in life, all it needed was a little hot glue, and it was finished. Well, almost finished. Overall, I was rather pleased with how they turned out. However, I will say that they took a hell of a long time to make and actually ended up costing me like 80 bucks when all the materials were accounted for. So if you're some type of corporate lawyer who makes like $700 an hour, you're way better off just buying the real thing. However, there is something to be said for handmade gifts, and if you want a fun project that takes three weeks, 
this could be the one. Hi everyone. So the truth is, I don't actually have a Valentine this year because I'm staying safe and staying home and wearing a mask except when using silica gel. Which means I don't actually have anyone to give these flowers to, so I'm going to give you the opportunity to get them. You can pick them up on eBay. I'm doing an eBay listing. It'll be linked in the description. All the proceeds from the auction will be donated to my lawyer who is processing my divorce right now. So, fun. In all seriousness, I'll be donating the profits to a charity of the winner's choice. So if you want me as Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, place a bid. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.